Psychotherapy of Panic Disorders The Nature of Panic and Agoraphobia Panic Disorder Definition Panic disorder. Acquired fear of certain bodily sensations. Agoraphobia is a behavioral reaction to anticipating these bodily sensations. Detailed panic attack is the culmination. Panic attack. The obligatory feeling of anxiety about the occurrence of panic. Panic attack. Individual periods of time of intense fear or discomfort during which four or more of the following symptoms develop and peak within 10 minutes. Heartbeat. Sweating. Shivering or feverish. Lack of air. Suffocation. Pain or discomfort in the chest. Nausea or stomach discomfort. Dizziness, instability, fainting. Derealization or depersonalization. Fear of losing control, going crazy. Fear of death. Paresthesia. Chills or fever. Panic attacks. Anxiety disorder. Depression. Agoraphobia. Somatic pathology. PTSD. And personality disorder. Behavioral therapy. The theories behind it. I.P. Pavlov's Theory of Conditioned Reflexes Theories of Instrumental or Operant Conditioning by E. Thorndike and B. Skinner Stimulus Response SR, theories are central to the principles of conditioning. They are based on the assumption that human behavior is learned. One of the early contributors to the field, American psychologist Edward L. Thorndike, postulated the law of effect, which stated that those behavioral responses are, that were most closely followed by a satisfactory result were most likely to become established patterns and to reoccur in response to the same stimulus, S. This basic SR scheme is referred to as unmediated. When an individual organism o, affects the stimuli in any way, for example, by thinking about a response, the response is considered mediated. The SOR theories of behavior are often drawn to explain social interaction between individuals or groups. Conditioning is a form of learning in which either, one, a given stimulus, or signal, becomes increasingly effective in evoking a response or two, a response occurs with increasing regularity in a well-specified and stable environment. The type of reinforcement used will determine the outcome. When two stimuli are presented in an appropriate time and intensity relationship, one of them will eventually induce a response resembling that of the other. The process can be described as one of stimulus substitution. This procedure is called classical or respondent conditioning. The law of effect, behavior is fixed by its result, E. Thorndike. Theories of Social Learning by Bandura Vicarious Conditioning Classic and Instrumental Vicarious Learning, Modeling More active is the imitation of individuals who are at higher levels of the hierarchy. The probability of copying the model's actions increases if the subject of the imitation is available for contact. Observing and evaluating the consequences of behavior involves cognition.
affects cognitive therapy. Theory of personality cognitive procedures. Aaron Beck's Cognitive Therapy The key to understanding and solving psychological problems lies in the patient's mind. Problems arise from distortions of reality based on erroneous assumptions and assumptions. Misconceptions arise as a result of incorrect teaching. In pathology, the processing of information is influenced by a systematic bias specific to each form of pathology. Theory of Personality A. Beck Beck believed that people that were depressed tended to look around at their surroundings to pick out the things that back up what their negative thoughts were telling them. So, instead of seeing anything good that was happening around them they only focused on the negative. To change that behavior, you have to change the original thought that leads to it. His theory was based on the idea that these negative thoughts were automatic for his clients. They were not choosing to think them, but they were also not choosing to challenge the thought to see if it was true. They were thinking about whatever thought came into their head. Beck believed that people more likely to struggle with depression had different thoughts than those that did not. Therefore, he concluded that if you change the thoughts, you change the behavior as well. The first step in changing your thinking is to discover what negative and wrong thoughts you are having. Then, cognitive therapy works to help identify thought patterns that are established in a person's mind. These patterns lead to distorted thoughts that lead to undesirable feelings and behaviors. When the patterns and thoughts have been identified the individual then learns the skills to change the thoughts. Clients that are undergoing cognitive therapy are taught how to identify the difference between their thoughts and reality. They learn how important their thoughts are and to monitor them. Therapy will also include receiving homework that challenges the beliefs and behaviors of the client. For example, it may require that the client put themselves into a social situation that they would normally avoid. As they do the homework, they focus on putting their new skills into practice. Goals of Cognitive Psychotherapy Correction of Erroneous Processing of Information, Systematic Errors of Thinking Identification of Automatic Thoughts, Their Evaluation and Reconstruction Identification of Intermediate Beliefs, Evaluation, and Reconstruction Identification of Deep Beliefs, Evaluation and Reconstruction Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Panic Disorder Cognitive Behavioral Model of Panic Disorder Technical Techniques The Nature of Panic Activation of the Flight Fight System Divergence Unconscious panic. Cognitive behavioral representations of panic. 
psychological and biological predisposition contributes to increased susceptibility to signs of activation of the ANS and the erroneous interpretation of these signals as evidence of impending disaster. Anxiety sensitivity, recognition of somatic signs of arousal. Interpretation of physical symptoms of anxiety as dangerous from learning experience. Doubts about the accuracy of sensations. Behavioral approach. Interoceptive conditioning, internal bodily sensations. Misinterpretation of symptoms. Unpredictable nature of anxiety and panic. Intervention targets Acute fear of bodily sensations Chronic anxiety about possible panic attacks Agoraphobic avoidance Terms and conditions of the CPT the difference in the types of interaction at different stages from empathic listening to directives, high motivation for change responsibility activity trust consistency and perseverance. Volpe's Systematic Desensitization, 1952 Regulations Neurotic behavior is defined by anxiety the opposite stimulus to fear is relaxation. Actions in imagination equals actions in reality combining antagonistic stimuli leads to counterconditioning. Stages The development of progressive muscle relaxation. Creating a hierarchy of situations that cause fear. Desensitization proper. Progressive muscle relaxation according to Jacobson. The change of tension by relaxation with the fixation of attention on the feeling of relaxation and the accompanying sense of calm. Accelerated version 8 to 9 sessions, total time 4 to 5 hours. Homework, twice for 15 to 20 minutes, the last in bed before going to bed. Therapeutic interventions for panic disorder. Guided skill acquisition exposure from exposure under the guidance of a psychotherapist to independent coping. Interference on the phone. Changing attitudes to the situation. Breathing exercises. Verbal support and reinforcement. CPT Components Interview, Self-Observation, Cognitive Restructuring Correcting Misconceptions About Physical Sensations, Breathing Training Hyperventilation Model, Relaxation, Interpersonal Relationships, Interoceptive Exposure Exhibition Massive, intermittent exposure, 3 to 4 hours a day, 5 days a week Progressive, intensive Attracting, distracting attention Opportunities to leave, long stay Guided skill acquisition, getting used to the stimulus Gestalt therapy in the treatment of panic disorders. 
Historical context causes of occurrence approaches in therapy. Historical context. The cause of mental disorders is a disorder of the ability to establish relationships. Symptom, request for a relationship. Basic needs belonging and self-realization. Living together is a condition of survival. Narcissistic society, border society, a fluid society. panic attack. Suddenly, the person is overwhelmed with a feeling of hopeless, complete loneliness. Intense anxiety and terror. A premonition of imminent disaster that pushes a person to grab objects. Thrown out into the world without any protection, and experiencing the ineffable. Awareness. Intrapsychic understanding, the process associated with meeting the needs for a postmodern, phenomenological view of relationships. Awareness in terms of a situation or field is a quality of interaction that can become more or less open to the sensations and risks inherent in intentionality in the event of any significant experience arising from the situation. Spagnolo Lobb, 2004. Causes of panic The destruction of the foundation during the formation of the figure is an episode of acute anxiety in the absence of support. The experience is interrupted abruptly, abruptly, and shatteringly, by the disappearance of what normally supports it. The base becomes a figure as a result of complete destruction. Interaction interruption modalities. Retroflexia, the body feels powerless and vulnerable, but its weakness cannot be shown because of an unbearable feeling of inadequacy and shame. Tiny, in front of a huge world. Loneliness is experienced as the fear of a small and inadequate person. The perception of a therapeutic relationship as a trustworthy space is an end goal, not a pre-set one. Interaction interruption modalities Projection panic arises from experiencing a situation in which there is an intentional threat. A person feels small, but full of strength, which he is afraid of losing and being defeated. It is based on the peculiarity of the relationship with the mother, the projection of aggression on the outside world, the therapy of awareness of aggression in interaction. Loneliness is experienced as a threat, the little stranger himself. Introjection, loss of the meaning of existence, not assigned introjection. Lack of personal needs and values. Support in building connections of belonging to the world, which can feed the spontaneous development of independence. Change your own affiliation relationships. Loneliness is experienced as a loss of the meaning of life, priorities, taste of life, which leads to depression.
merge, falling out of context, increasing anxiety when borders are highlighted, or when there is no support. There is no experience of feeling alone, but there is an experience of being thrown out of the world and meaningless. Building boundaries is accompanied by the fear of ceasing to exist. Loneliness is experienced as non-existence, disintegration. Panic attacks and the life cycle. From belonging to independence and back to belonging. Panic attacks, self-reliance increases disproportionately to the support provided by the ties of belonging, old ones destroyed, new ones not created. Treatment of PR Making sense of a meaningless foreign symptom to identify the PA is a call to enter into a relationship. Building a foundation for experiencing relationships together. Building the foundation. The therapeutic relationship provides a framework that allows the patient to overcome the experience of loneliness. The experiences belong to the field. Therapist grounding, working out your foundation, ready to face uncertainty and fragmentation. Support during a severe attack. Appeal to the functions of the body, support for the presence of interaction. Denoting an experience within time boundaries. The location of the symptom within the context and duration of the relationship, beginning, middle, end. Words as a basis. Words give structure, define experiences, chewing the indefinite in joint thinking and to achieve a joint understanding based on the description and phenomenology of the experienced. History as a foundation. The restoration of the continuity of experience, related emotions, thoughts, bodily sensations. Restoring a sense of horror a personal story as the basis for PA, putting panic inside a biography. Restoring the ID function physicality. Restoring the personality function a description of yourself, contributes to the resurrection of history. The future is a foundation. Support and horizon of the future, the next is the point to which the intentionality of the organism moves. Therapeutic affiliation. Accepting therapy. Remembering the therapist between sessions. Personal relationship with the therapist.
Pharmacological support. Couple support patient therapist. The level of awareness of the possibilities and limitations of both methods. Thank you for your attention. Please, do not forget to follow my YouTube channel.